So about a month ago, Orange Marshall, an admin on the server, released a very impressive thread on the Hypixel forums talking about a new replay system that was being introduced on the Hypixel network. Now, I won't go into too much detail with all the information here, you can always read through his posts in your own time, but I will quickly highlight the important parts before I go on to the main part of the video. Now, it seems like the replay system has two main uses. One, for the staff to use it as some sort of moderation tool in an effort to combat cheaters, and secondly, for players to use for their own enjoyment, whether it be making YouTube highlights, sharing a funny clip with their friends, or simply to rewatch their own gameplay. However, when I say players, I specifically mean players with the MVP++ rank. Yes, the system is only available for those with the plus plus rank, as well as for YouTubers. This makes sense, to be honest, from a business perspective. The feature is helping fund development and anti-cheat costs. Anyway, you get the idea. This tool will allow you, as well as staff, to view replays of your games. You need MVP++, period. Go read the thread for all the fine details. Now, onto the main part of the video. Just today, the replay system was released. And yes, it is in the beta version, but, uh, but yeah, we're able to use it now. Now, if you enjoy the video that's up ahead, then do drop a like, and do let me know in the comments below what you will be using this replay feature for. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. Now, how do we use the replay system? First of all, join a lobby. This is pretty obvious, pretty standard stuff. The replay system command only works in main game lobbies. It doesn't work in-game, it doesn't work in pre-game lobbies, and it doesn't work in housing. Then, head over to chat and type the command slash games and hit enter. Now, this interesting menu will pop up on your screen, and it may seem a bit confusing at first with all these different icons, but it's actually quite simple to understand. Games you have played most recently appear in the top left of the menu, and as you scroll across the rows, and down the ranks, you see a chronological depression. Basically, what that means is games are ordered in chronological order with the most recent shown first. So, as you can see, I played a single game of Skywars today. The game mode, date, time, mode, and map are shown simply by just hovering over the icon, which is already useful in itself. If you hover your mouse over the book down here, you see some information about the replay system, such as it's in its beta mode, which means that the system is still being worked on, and there will most likely be quite a few bugs too, as well as supported games. As you can see, only Sky Wars is currently supported with this replay system. However, I'm sure they're going to add more game modes as time progresses. Scrolling through, you can see that I'm able to view the replay of my Sky Wars game, but not my Bed Wars or TNT tag games. To make this easier to visualize, you can click on this icon over here on the right, which toggles the replays you are able to view. When enabled, only the Skywars game shows, as you can see, as that's the only replay I can view. Disabling it again shows every single replay, whether or not I can view it. Now let's head into one of these Skywars games and see exactly how the mechanics of the replay system work. So here we are, viewing a replay of a Skywars game I was in. So straight off the bat, you can see that there are a couple of icons down in the hotbar here, but overall, everything looks pretty clean visually. Not too many icons, and we can sort of tell what they'll do before even clicking on them. Over here on the right, we can see that this is in fact a replay, and once again, we can note the date, time, time zone, game, and mode. Now. Let's start with the compass on the left. Clicking on it, we can see all these player heads of the players in this game, and left clicking on any of the heads allows us to spectate whoever we want at any time during the replay. Maybe you want to see the third person replay of me. In that case, click on my head. Maybe you want to see how Tor Eiffel plays. Simply click on his head. Right clicking on the player head allows you to watch the game from their first person perspective. Very handy if you want to see how someone plays. Now, scrolling through these white icons in the hotbar, we can see that this one decreases the speed of the overall replay, this one moves the clip 10 seconds backwards, this one moves the clip 10 seconds forwards, and this one increases the speed. 
This here in the center of the hotbar plays and pauses the clip as you might imagine. You can do some pretty nifty things with these buttons as well. For example, you can increase the gameplay from one times to two times speed or from two times to four times speed. Perhaps you want to run through the clip quickly. You can also decrease the gameplay from one times to 0.5 times speed or from 0.5 times speed to 0.25 times speed. Perhaps you want to view a particular scene in slow motion. That would be perfect. Moving forward or backwards by 10 seconds allows you to watch and rewatch multiple scenes over and over again, such as me getting a nice combo on this player. Now, in your hotbar on the very right, we see a nether star labelled as More. Clicking on it pulls up this rather interesting replay viewer menu. We have a settings option, a bookmarks option, a share option, and a leave replay option. Now, clicking on the settings option allows us to choose whether we want our replay to show chat or not, i.e. who killed who in chat, and what people say in chat as well. Alright, just something quickly to add on. When you enable your chat, you see this, um, these dots. It's basically a timeline, which is a very interesting feature, actually. So you see these golden dots. This is when a particular player died. So the timestamps when a particular player died. And if you click on any of these dots, you'll automatically be warped forward in time to that particular place. So these green dots here indicate the time that's passed. And I'm guessing as you play the clip, the green dots will slowly creep towards the end. Um, but yeah, as I said, the gold ones mention sort of when someone dies as well, which is pretty cool. It shows who kills them, shows the timestamp, etc. So yeah, very interesting. And very well done, Hypixel. We can also enable or disable spectators, and we can also cycle through our fly speed up to a maximum fly speed of 4 times and a minimum fly speed of 0.5 times. Back in the main menu, this bookmark section allows us to view specific timestamps in the game where a player was killed. Left clicking on it warps you to that player at the moment he died and allows you to continue watching from there. And right clicking produces a link in chat with which you can send to all your friends. Quite useful if you want to show off how you killed someone. Clicking on the share option here pulls up a link in chat with which you can copy and paste, again, to send to your friends or for personal use. This is a replay of the whole game. And finally, clicking on leave replay exits the replay and puts you back in the main lobby, although I suspect that just typing slash L will be a lot easier. Also, something else really cool to note is this. At any time during the replay, you can pause the clip and click on a player's body. This allows you to see their potion effects at that time, what they are holding in their hand at that instance, as well as the armor they have on and the enchants on those armor pieces too. You are also able to report a player over here, which is quite good if you think they are cheating. Alright guys, so that's about it for me with regard to the replay system. Um, there's not much else to show. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to add more features as time goes on, such as maybe timestamps and, you know, custom timestamps and so on. Being able to speed up and slow down certain parts of the, uh, the replay for video making and so on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, then do drop them in the comments below. Also, before you click off, I'm going to show you one last clip um, that I found really funny. It was the first Skywars game that I recorded. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so here we are in normal mode Skywars on, what's this guy's name? Martian. I'm going to rush mid quickly. Alright, that guy's going to take my chests. So I'll just pop that on. I'm going to rush mid. Fingers crossed. Okay, I was gonna say hopefully no one comes, but I should be able to kill him. There we go. Wait, what? Okay. I wonder if I had the block hit right or something. But anyway, let's pop that on. Oh, I don't see him there. 
back off a bit. Get a few. Oh, get a few rods. I was gonna say. Yeah, we killed him somehow. We have a lot of pearls. <laughs> a lot of pearls for uh, for norm normal mode. So we should be able to win this pretty easily. Watch this be a hacker. It's actually a hacker. Uh...